my name is Danaea and I'm from the Long Beach Public Library. Today we're going to be doing a family story time. But before we start, I just want to make sure if anybody's already signed up for the summer reading program, don't forget to add your code to the activity tab in Beanstack. If you haven't signed up already, don't forget to go to longbeach.beanstack.org and sign up today. All right, so let's get started. So before we start and do everything else, let's all put out our arms and we're gonna wave our hands and we're gonna do, this is the way we wave hello. So are you ready? Let's start. This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello everybody. All right. So now let's get started with our story time. Today's story time, we're going to be talking about families. Families come in different sizes. Sometimes families can be small or they can be really big. But what makes them really special is the love that they share within each other. But it's not only families like your brothers and sisters and your mom and your dad. You can also have friends and friends come together and also you have aunts and uncles and they all come together and they can become your family it's a really great thing to be part of the family and even i see we have a dog and a cat and they can be family too so you can also make a fun family tree. I did this by making a construction out of construction paper and little leaves, and I wrote the names of the people that I love most, and they are my family. It's really neat. All right. So now that we know more about families, it's time for our book. Today's book is Families by Shelley Rotner. Okay, let's get started. There are all kinds of families. Some families are big and have cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and even great-grandparents. Wow. Some are small. Sometimes the people in the family look alike. Sometimes they don't. Some families have children born to them. Some adopt. Some children have one parent. Some have two, a mom and a dad. Or two moms or two dads. Others have a grandparent, an aunt or an uncle living with them. The people in a family may not all live in the same place. Sometimes you have relatives living in other states or other cities. That's what she's talking about. When members of a family live far away, they like to visit. They get together at celebrations and reunions. Ooh. Families have fun. Oh, wow, look, see, they're jumping in the pool. They're playing music. Families can have so much fun with each other. They help one another. People in a family love and care about each other. The end. That was a great book. That told us a lot about families. But now I have a song for you. And I'm going to turn this board around. And you're going to see how we spell family. Let's say it all together. Fam, uh, we, family. So it's to the tune of bingo, and we're gonna clap every time we spell out the word family. So are you ready? Okay. There is a group that I do love, and family is its name. Oh, F A M I L Y F A M I L Y F A. M-I-L-A, family is its name-o. All right.
right. Do you want to do that one more time? Let's do it one more time. There is a family I do love, and family is its name. O F A M I L Y F A M I L Y F A M I L Y family is its name. O Good job. I hope you guys sing that around family. But before I go, I want to let you guys know that we have more books about families. We have families playing music together. We have animal families. I hope you check out more books on families. Have a great day. Bye.